Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us. Are we ready to start our day? Let's go. Everybody up, please. One, two, three. Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? It's time to start our day. We will learn and laugh and play. Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? And you, and you, and you, and you. I have to say a good, big, big morning to Chloe and Charles and Thomas and Clara and Liam and Nolan and Mia and Mila and Talia and Livia and Alec and Oliver and Rose and Victoria and Philip and Ariana and Melody and Zoe and Emma and uh, Noemi and Gary and everybody else, all of our other friends who are watching us today. Thank you for joining us. Today is going to be a game day. Game, 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 game day. Get your game on. So before we start, we have to do our calendar like we usually do. Are we ready? You can sit down if you like. Okay, have a seat. All right, let's do it. Do we remember how many days in the week? Seven. Good job. There were seven days. There were seven days. There were seven days in the week. A Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, yes, I know. A few of you told me um, on Friday, I got a little note from some people saying, Miss Kathleen, that's not Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Doesn't it look funny? Wednesday. But that's one of the words that we don't pronounce all of the letters. We just say Wednesday. Okay, so W E D N E S is Wednesday. We just skip the E and the D, or just the D basically. Wednesday and drop the E at the end there. So W E D N E S D A O A becomes Wednesday. So this D and this E we don't pronounce. But very good figuring things out there. You saw the clue and you were wondering what it was for, right? Mm -hmm. It's one of those tricky words, but we'll get to that a little later, right? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yay! And today is Monday, the beginning of the week. Monday, April the 20th. Not too many days left, eh? Not too many days left. And it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Keep that up there, Mr. Spring. So you try and get out there and have some fun later on, okay? And I'm going to show you a few games that you might be able to play on your driveway with some chalk. Okay, here we go. Now, before we get to those games that I just mentioned, I remember on Friday there was um, a treasure hunt, I do believe, a little treasure hunt that I gave you. The first one, try and listen, if you have a sec, you can pause, pause the video, go and get your sheet because I asked you guys to write down or draw pictures of what you found for the treasure hunt, remember? So, nope, excuse me, I did it again. I fixed my glasses. Get rid of that. Here we go. All right. So, if you can go and get your treasure hunt and come back, we'll see how y'all did. Are you ready? Okay. The first one was, look town. It can be black or brown. It has six legs. And the three-letter English word starts with a ah. A. And the word was ant. Remember? Six legs. Cool, yo. I hope you got it. I'm sure you did. You guys are so intelligent. The next one, number two, look up. It flies. There are many, many types of these. It is a word in English that rhymes with herd. It flies, herd, bird, bird. That's it. Did you guys get it? I'm sure you did. Number three, this little animal can be seen everywhere outside, but particularly loves trees and nuts. It is an English word that starts with the letter S, and they are usually gray, especially in my area. I usually see them gray. You love trees, <laughs> nuts. Squirrel, you got it, squirrel. Number four, oh my, we see these everywhere, but they're not alive. Hmm. Bizarre. The English word has four letters that rhyme with tuck and begins with the letter R. Tuck, muck, huck. There's no R in there though. Rock. 
You've got it, boys and girls. It's rock. Good job. And the last one, number five, last but not least, this is something you all have and give. Your family shows it to you all the time, all, 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 all the time, but you cannot see it. If you make a heart, that might give you a clue. And I didn't give you the letter that it was, eh? because I really wanted you to think about that one. It's love. Your family gives it all the time, but you don't see it, right? It's from their heart. Well, I hope you had fun with that, boys and girls. And thank you for some of you who were sending me in your pictures. I love to see them. So if you get a chance, send me a few. I love it. Okay, guys, I really, really enjoy seeing what you've come up with. All right. So today we are going to read a book. Another book that I wrote. Oh, maybe this was ooh, maybe ooh, 20, 22 years ago, something like that. Long, 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 long time ago. Okay. When I was staying home with my children when they were in school, like you guys. And this one is called Morty Mud Puddle. I made this one too myself. Okay. Morty Mud Puddle. This book came about because we went to Prince Edward Island. And my girls, you know them, Kelsey and Tamara, they dressed like this because it was windy and wet. So we got them a rain hat like this and a yellow coat and their big yellow boots. And they love to splish splash in puddles. So they that gave me a really cool idea. So this book is called Morty Mud Puddle. And it's for my two girls, Kelsey and Tamara. Love you and miss you. Well, here we go, boys and girls. I hope you can see that. It was looking like another busy day for Morty Mud Puddle. It had rained all night, and waking up, Morty could still hear the drip drops of rain on the windows. Mud Puddle was not Morty's real name, but everyone just took to calling him that because he loved to jump and play in mud puddles. Well, thought Morty Mud Puddle, if I'm going to go outside in this rain, I need to put on my raincoat, my rain hat, and rain boots. So Morty ran downstairs to the mudroom to get his rain gear on. And you see that here, his rain boots, his rain hat, and his rain coat. First, he grabbed his big yellow squashy rain hat and securely fastened it on his head. Then he grabbed his even bigger yellow raincoat and smooshed himself into that. Finally, he grabbed his clunky yellow rain boots and squished his feet into them. Now, Morty was ready for some fun. Out the door he ran, tripping and falling straight into a mud puddle. Oh well, thought Morty. That's what I came out for anyway. Rolling and jumping and sloshing around, Morty thought this was great fun until he remembered what his mom said. Morty Mud Puddle, if you jump into just one more mud puddle, I will absolutely faint. Morty! Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Squish! Morty didn't want his mom to faint, so he quickly dove into a puddle of a puddle of water and washed himself off as best as he could. Swish, swish, swish. But then, just as he was getting himself ready to go home, Morty tripped and fell back into another mud puddle. I'm pretty sure you can hear Betsy screaming right now, eh? I think a puppy just walked across our lawn. She'll be quiet in a few minutes. Um, oh well, thought Morty. That's what I came out for anyway. So off went Morty back to his house. He snuck up the back stairs and into the mudroom. He ever so quickly took off all his rain gear and hung them up. Then as quiet as a mouse, he tiptoed back up the stairs to his room. Rounding the corner, Morty's mom was waiting to see what he was up to. She took just one look and kerplop! Morty's mom up and just absolutely fainted right in front of Morty's room. And here we see Morty. Oh, excuse me, boys and girls. Here we see Morty in his room. Oh, well, 
thought Morty. That's what I came inside for anyway. So off Morty went back to play in his room. <laughs> what a silly, silly book, eh? I have fun making these books. It was a lot of fun doing that. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the one I sent you the other day, Fanny Farmer, with the, with the coloring pages. I hope you guys were able to do maybe one or two. And we will come up with another book in the future. I have one or two left that I haven't showed you yet, so I'll show you those a little bit later on, okay? All right, so today's letter of the week is the letter U. Look at that. It's very simple. That's a U. <laughs> very simple, right? Okay, let's see where I put it. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. So, the capital letter U is simple like this. You see? Very simple. Up and down. Woo! It almost looks like a glass, eh? You can put water in. Bloop. And the lowercase letter U is like this. Whoop, a glass, the same thing, a small glass. You see that? But then you put a little tail on them. See the little tail down there? So it's a little glass like that and a little tail. Your chore today is to show me a paper with your letter U and words with U's in them. It doesn't have to start with a U. Mine do, but it doesn't have to. Any word that has a U in it. This one is an umbrella. And that starts with a U. Umbrella. This one is an arrow and stairs leading up. So up is also a U. So you go out there and find me some U words, okay? That's what you need to practice. And if you can, write a few of the letters down for me so I can see how you print your U's. I'd love to see them. We're almost finished the alphabet, boys and girls. U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Ooh, five left. And we're finished the alphabet. That's amazing. All right. Just amazing. All right. Let's get on to today's game. So this game is called the pig dice game. Yes, you heard me. Pig dice. I have no idea why they call it pig dice game, but it's a game that I found. And I used to play it with my children when they were small. I never really knew the name of it, so I looked it up online, and it was called a pig dice game. Maybe little piggies used to play it in the mud, like Morty Mud Puddle, perhaps. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to play. It's very, very simple. All you need are two dice. See these? One is called a dice. Two is called die. So two die and or one dice, but you'll need two of them, okay? This is how the game goes, right? Um, you'll also need to make, look at that. What does that letter look like? We did it last week. Doesn't it look like the letter T, the lowercase T? That's what you need, okay? All you need is a sheet of paper. You can make it small if you want. It's not as big as mine, but I made it large so you guys can see it. So you're going to make the letter T, and you play two people at a time. Okay, so if you're playing with your brother, or your sister, or your mother, or your dad, maybe somebody else in the house can play with somebody else, and then the winners can get together and play again. Okay, or when you're tired of playing, you just put it away, you play again later. Okay, all right, so you make your T, and let me show you here. You need to decide on how many points wins the game. Okay, and we usually go with 11, so the game is nice and long. Okay, it take you a little bit of time to play, but it's a lot of fun. You also need to decide what is the magic number, okay? So you have two die, okay? The biggest numbers on these dice are sixes. So you can choose a number from one to six to be the magic number, okay? I think I'm going to choose number five. I'm going to do a five, okay? So what you need to do here. I put Miss Tamara's name. I was pretending to play with Miss Tamara, but she's not here. You know that, eh? We have to stay at home. So I put Miss Tamara up here and Miss Kathleen. We did it over the computer, but I was pretending she was with me, so I was keeping points, okay? This is only to keep points on. So what you need to do is you roll when it's your turn. What what? How it starts is the person who is the youngest goes first. So if it's you and your sister or your brother and you're the youngest, you go first. If he or she is the youngest, then she or he goes first, okay? So the youngest person in the house goes first, all right? So you just roll the dice, and then don't forget, I said lucky number is five. So if I roll the dice, let's see if I can put this down. Dun, da, da. I hope you can see that. If you put it down, 
and there's no five, your turn is finished. You give it to the next person. The next person rolls, oh, look, I got a five. So if I've got a five, or the next person has a five, you put a one. And if you do get a five, you get to play again. Oh, I don't have a five. So I would give it to the next person. Do we understand? So basically all it is is you roll the die, okay? You roll them both. And whenever you get a five, you put a little one, 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 one. And then you can add them up after a while. Here I have, look, count with me. One, two, three, four. So I'd put a little line and go four. And then I'd keep counting. So at the end, it's not so hard to count. You know there's four, five, six, seven. Whoever gets 11 first wins the game. Okay? And you can make this a challenge. You can do it on pieces of paper like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email this to your parents, okay? So you'll have all the rules on there. I think I made a mistake when I was telling you because I said you can choose from one to uh, one to six. I put one to five. Well, it doesn't matter. Choose one to six. One to six, one to five, doesn't matter. Um, so I will email this to your parents, okay? So they'll have the official rules of the pig dice game. And then uh, you guys can play and let me know how that goes, all right? Have fun with it. Enjoy yourselves. Let's see. What else can we talk about? A beautiful day out behind me do you see that out there it's absolutely gorgeous so try and get outside you can take your pig dice game outside do it with a piece of chalk instead of using paper and wasting paper you're going to put a t with chalk on the ground and every time you throw your dice bingo bango bongo you put your points on there with chalk that way we don't waste anything right works out well now when it rains it's all gone and people can walk by and maybe say hey what are you playing over there i i see it looks like fun what is that? You don't go close to them. You stay six feet away, but you can say, or two meters, I should say, actually, two meters, right? Um, you could say to them, it's a game called a pig game, and I can tell you how to play it really fast. And you just show them on, while they're walking, you can just say, look, I'm going to show you. Boop, boop, it's done, because it's a fast game to play. And then people will learn new games, and they'll have some fun, too, okay? Anyways, ah, uh, you know what time it is. Do you know it is time to say bye-bye for today? So, everybody please stand up. Everybody. Yes, you too, Mr. Gary in the back there. I see you. He's one of our new friends, eh? Now you have to stand up like everybody else. Stand up. Let's go. Are we ready? It's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. Hooray! Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me again today. I will make some more videos and put them up for you. Uh, like I said, this is a game week. So every single day, I'm going to show you an easy game to play. Okay? Bye, boys and girls. Big monster hugs. Kisses. Love you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Have a nice day. Get outside. It's beautiful.